Hi, I'm Brooke Williams from Australia 24 News, and I'm interviewing Christine Cousins, MP of Geelong today. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. And how are you today, Christine? Yeah, very well, thank you. I just have a few questions to ask. Sure. Um, so now that the election is over, what is your priority now? Yes, so um, obviously I won the seat in November at the state election. Um, I'm very privileged to have been given another term as the member for Geelong, so I want to thank the people of Geelong for re-electing me to that position. Um, I think the important things are delivering on the election priorities that we made. Um, you know, there's quite a number of big projects that we have committed to, so my priority will be to make sure that we deliver on those, but importantly also continue the work that we've already started. What legislations will come up in the Parliament in the upcoming months? Yeah, so there's a number of um, pieces of legislation that we are looking at. Um, yesterday, in fact, we introduced the nurse-patient ratios, which will ensure that nurses um, have their workload um, that's manageable and safe for not only them but for their patients, um, and that includes midwives as well. So that's a really important piece of legislation. Um, we are also looking at the... Um, uh, legislation to protect workers from wage theft. So we'll be introducing the wage theft legislation um, in the coming months, which, you know, if employers are not paying their workers what they're entitled to, then they will pay the penalty for that. Um, and then, of course, there's the manslaughter one. So where um, workers are killed at work, um, employers will be charged with manslaughter if they're found to be, um, need to, you know, the have caused the issue for that person. And what's happening with the education in Geelong as it's important to the families? Yeah, so education is a huge issue for many people. Um, we, uh, in the last term of government, ensured that it, um, Victoria became the education state. So it's important to us that every child has access to a decent um, and uh, the best possible education that they can get. So we set about ensuring that our schools are brought up to a proper standard. Um, a lot of our schools were in poor condition. So in Geelong, for example, we spent um, almost $100 million in just upgrading our schools to make sure that they are in good condition for students to go to. Um, we re rebuilding Whittington Primary School, rebuilding Geelong High School, um, and we've made commitments in um, the last election to ensure that Newcomb Secondary College and Newcomb Primary School are also upgraded. So, you know, we want to make sure that at all levels, um, young people and children have access to a good quality education. Um, we've put a lot of money into the Gordon TAFE. Um, we introduced 30 free TAFE courses. So, young people who can't afford to continue with their education, can now do that free of charge by going to the TAFE. Now, are there any specific projects you're working on? Yeah, so there's a number of projects that I started in the last term of government that will continue on into this term. Um, one of those is the um, Accessible Cities project, which is a project that we have um, Deakin University doing the research. And that's about making the city of Geelong uh, a world-class accessible city for everyone. So not just people in wheelchairs or who have sight impairment or hearing impairment, but for everyone. So a lot of work is going into that. There is no um, other place really where we have, you know, world's best practice accessible city. So this is a bit of a first for Geelong. Um, and we want to make sure that the research is right, that we get the information and that we can roll out um, you know, the improvements that we need to make to our city. There's also um, another disability project which is about matching up um, people with dis disabilities and employers, so getting people into jobs but also looking at the tourism side of that as well. So ensuring that when, if people want to visit our city, they can. Um, if they're in a wheelchair or have another form of disability, that they're fully equipped to be able to move around our city just like any other tourist does. So they're two big projects that we're working on. 
Um, the other one is the gender equity um, legislation or strategy that um, the government developed last year. Um, going into Parliament in March will be the gender equity legislation and that will be looking at making our community inclusive, which means making sure that women have the same rights as everybody else um, in all aspects of life, whether it be sport, whether it be um, on a board or um, in education. The idea is to ensure that women have um, that equity that doesn't currently exist at the moment. So that's another project that we've been working on. Um, and we will have a um, gender equity summit at Deakin University on the 4th of March. So um, we're encouraging everybody to come along to that, not just women, but men as well. Um, and you know, encouraging businesses and community organisations to come along and hear some expert speakers on the matter. Thank you for joining us, Christine. You're very welcome. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you.